Hello and welcome to the video about using the awards assistant uh, to make sense of the awards report from Compass. So once you've uh, run the awards report and you've got it downloaded, we can see my copy down here. Um, what we then need to go do is go to a different website. Um, so the link for this is at the bottom of the uh, video. Um, and what we want is scouts.org.uk forward slash awards dash assistant. Um, and don't be alarmed when it loads a Dropbox uh, folder rather than the Scouts website. Um, this is just where the latest version is kept. You can see there's a few different um, files in here. Uh, the one that we want here is uh, Awards Assistant um, and it's got the brackets with a version number after it. If we click on that, your browser will start to try and preview it, um, which won't work. Um, so don't be alarmed about this either because again what we want to do is download it to our computer to work with. You can see along, along the top here I've got sign in, sign up or download. Um, you don't need a Dropbox account um, to be able to use this, you can do a direct download. If you don't have that menu um, you might need to just click the, uh, the little left arrow there depending on the size of your screen. Um, this third button is the one that we want which is download and direct download. If you are a Dropbox user, feel free to add it into your um, into your account. That's not a problem. Um, but for uh, simplicity, we will do a direct download here. Once you've downloaded your uh, awards assistant, um, you can open it up, and you will initially see two different um, error messages. Um, so the first one you get is telling you it's a protected view because I've got the uh, file from the internet. So I can say that it's fine, and I trust that. And then the second one is talking about the macros. Um, so the macros are little programs that run in the background of Excel um, and uh, help you do the calculations. Um, so we need to enable that content, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, this front page gives you some different information uh, about the tool um, and uh, tells you a little bit more uh, information. The other assistants that uh, we're looking at are compliance assistant and the training assistant. Um, and then this one is the awards assistant as well. Um, so we can click on start and it will ask you where uh, the awards file is that we've downloaded. Um, I've got a version that I've anonymized um, so that we're not looking at um, people's names. Um, so I'll just find that one and click OK. Um, and it's got some options about which uh, piece of information we want to show. So I'll leave all of those ticked and then click OK. Depending on whether you're running the report for um, a county or for a district, you may have quite a lot of information uh, to run. Um, so churning this report uh, can take a minute or so. And once you've run the report, you'll see a message that says um, you can do one of two things, either exit and delete the report, um, or just exit. If we click exit for now, um, you'll see three tabs along the bottom, uh, notes, summary and report. This note sheet uh, explains a little bit about how it's been uh, calculated further down um, and also gives you a quick summary um, of uh, different good service awards, um, how many potential awards there are, how many wood badges are overdue in those categories um, and so therefore aren't eligible. Um, and, and therefore gives you a net potential uh, number of awards as well. Um, in the summary tab, um, it gives you a similar information but breaks it down uh, by age group, um, sorry, length of service, um, which might be a helpful way of uh, looking at things. Starting at five years, um, so the first, um, the, the earliest that somebody appears in the awards report uh, from Compass is once they've been awarded something uh, which for most people is um, is the five-year service awards so that'll be the first time that somebody uh, will appear on here um, and you can see that it steps that steps down uh, through there um, and gives you uh, the highest number of good service awards already there as well another detail is in the uh, report column uh, report tab um, and uh, as with similar assistance um, it shows you a highlighted row uh, if there's some uh, potential action um, in the case of the awards assistant um, and, uh, and the white ones are, um, are people uh, where there's not um, potential action as well. Um, so people with more than one role 
will appear with more than one uh, row in the assistant. Um, so you'll see somebody appear um, a, a few times if they've got multiple roles um, and you can then scroll across and have a little look at uh, what the uh, suggested information is here. So we'll pause that one uh, now and in the next video um, I'll suggest a couple of different ways that you can filter um, this report uh, so that it's a helpful one.